Hey guys, what's up Pisces? Thanks for watching, appreciate it. It's going to be a reading for your immediate future, the situation, and the obstacles in your way, and the outcome of that situation. Also at the end, um, we'll do a Ask the Angels, so if there's anything you would like to ask your angels, you'll have the opportunity. Alright, so keep in mind that the energies can go both ways. This could be your energy or the energy of the person you're dealing with. So flip it how you need to. Also remember it's a general reading. So just take what's yours and leave the rest behind. Alright, Pisces. If it does resonate, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. Alright, cool. Let's see what's coming up for y'all. Hey. Alright. Looks like somebody, and it doesn't have to be your story because that would have been like the past. Um, somebody jumped ship and now they're regretting it. Alright. Two more for Pisces. Alright, one more. Okay, King of Cups. So, could be dealing with another water sign. Could be your energy. The moon here, Cancer, Pisces, energy. The three of swords in the middle of it all. So, it's either, it feels like, and we'll clarify and see, but uh, it's either pain, distance, some type of separation around a situation. Show me the moon. Again, this is your energy. The Six of Pentacles. So things may not have been equal give and take. Um, Sagittarius energy with the Temperance card. There's been like, there's been, hmm, I mean, healing. But trying to let go to end cycles here. Someone may have been juggling, but it's like you took the time. Or, um, oh, okay. All right. So you've worked on yourself. You kind of let go. And it almost feels like within this, there was some happiness that was found. You could have been dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sag. But with the Queen of Wands and the Nine of Pentacles, this could be you kind of wrapping up this cycle. Um, and kind of getting back out there. Especially like if you're single or there's been a breakup or just like a period of healing from something that wasn't equal give and take on both sides things were kind of up in the air somebody could have been juggling but it looks like now you may have choices we'll see show me this uh three of swords for pisces boy the high priestess and the justice libra energy Show me the justice card. Mm. Yeah, something here wasn't. So it could have. This could have been a situation that surrounds like a legal. Something legal there. Oh, wow. Somebody's paranoid as hell. But I, it's, it's almost like they're not. Um, all right. So there could have been a third party here. Because in some way there's too much energies or there's too many energies around it so i'm not sure because this is just coming up at the bottom hopefully it's going to come out there is a third party involved here somewhere it, whether that's another person family something but now somebody is getting paranoid as fuck tell me about um I don't, I don't know. Show me the uh, justice. There could have been some bad news or like a setback in a, a legal situation. It doesn't have to be. Show me the page of swords. There's been, there's a stall here. Thank you. Yeah, see, somebody's kind of turned their... I mean, somebody's walking away from the situation or has. 
that, I mean, that, that, that could definitely be what the stall is because it looks like you're kind of, like I said, wrapping up this cycle. You're focusing on yourself here or vice versa. Uh, and I think there is pain, but it almost, I don't know if that's karma. But somebody is turning their, yeah, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini energy. At the very least, it's not wanting to deal with this situation, not really wanting to talk, um, not whoever this is, not expressing emotions and kind of really just probably hard for this person to figure out. Show me this King of Cups for whatever reason. But I think, you know, like I said, there was maybe some betrayal or something was dishonest there in the past. At the very least, somebody is paranoid now. And then maybe it's just because they can't figure out what's going on anymore. Show me this King of Cups for the outcome. For Pisces. So the King of Cups is uh, your energy. Could be dealing, like I said, with another water sign. And then there's regret. Or just, you know, just let down around the situation. This feels like uh, the other, yeah, nervous as hell. It feels like the other, well, I guess, because uh, the Queen of Wands is here, right? And this, to me, is coming in as your energy. But there's this one particular situation that you're kind of just not dealing with at the moment or vice versa. But it looks like you're getting out there and doing you. So I kind of see this as their energy, but flop it how it resonates. Because it looks like somebody wants to apologize but I'm not sure that they're doing it because the King of Cups with this five, they're nervous um, or are kind of scared um, with that Eight of Swords like in their head about the situation. Show me that Five of Cups. Yeah, because there's there's still love here. And right now, though, somebody is focusing on these cups here that are spilt and not the two that are still standing back there. So, I mean, there's still feelings here. The King of Cups, uh, whosoever energy that is, how, however this is resonating for you, um, believe it or not, does not, yeah, the Two of Swords just come out and he is the King of Emotions, but he does not just broadcast those feelings. He does not just always wear them on his sleeve. So even if you're not dealing with another water sign or that's, you know, just the person, or maybe it's you, um, there's still love here, but somebody's not really opening up and expressing that. So with the two of swords, it's, it's kind of just leaving it at a crossroads. Not coming forward um, yeah, at the moment. And remember, it's just an immediate future. But there's, there's some type of regret here for whatever happened. All right. Could be dealing with the Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Cups, and the Knight of Swords. I mean, it's it's love coming around. Or, you know, if this was a third part, I don't know. This is new love taking off pretty quickly. So you could be dealing with, but this is not, this is, okay. This may not be happening at the moment unless there were, you know... Like I said, that third energy involved, because we do have the devil at the at the uh, at the bottom, Capricorn energy. So I would say they're coming. They're just not quite yet. And for some, there's still like competition or um, you know other things choices people um ar uh, around the situation but it looks like it does come back in and just not at the moment it's not they're not reaching out but it won't be long unless like i said depending on your situation if somebody does have that choice you may be making that decision on how to proceed because you definitely get out, you know, the Queen of Wands is over here. So people competing for your attention. All right. So let's ask your angels anything you would like to ask. Go ahead and ask in your head or out loud, however. 
I'll just ask your angels. card and thank you that was quick ask for help from others give me one more answer for Pisces question looks like you definitely get have people competing over you here all right one more card for Pisces thank you remain positive and listen to your intuition so ask from help ask for help from others. Remain positive. Listen to your intuition. Don't block that off. Can I get one more? So we can get a kind of a general direction of an answer. For Pisces. Okay. Take that one that flipped. No need to worry and wait. So don't block off your intuition, your heart chakras, none of that. And don't rush. There's no need to rush. And there's no need to worry. All right, Pisces. I hope this helped. I hope it resonated. If so, please make sure that you like and subscribe below. If you guys would like to contact me for a personal reading, find that information below as well. You guys take care and I'll see you next time. Bye.